My colleague Ben Brown reporting there. You're watching BBC News. It's 11.40. Now, as we've been reporting, thick fog is causing widespread travel disruption across the UK and Europe. But just what's causing it? It's been reported that it could be the warmest November day on record here in the UK. And joining me now on set is the BBC weather presenter Sarah Keith-Lucas, who can try and explain this and take us back to our school science, which many of us have forgotten. First of all, then, just give us a sense of how unusual this level of fog is, if at all. Well, it's not all that unusual, Rachel. Actually, every year we do tend to get fog during the autumn and the winter months. It's been quite extensive over the past few days because we've had a large area of high pressure that's kept the weather fairly quiet. But it, it isn't unusual, and that's partly down to the fact that this time of year we've got very long nights. So a long time for the ground surface to cool and for fog to form as well. And during the day, the sunshine is not particularly strong, so it's not really burning away that fog in a hurry. It's lingering um, for quite a while, in fact, all day in some places, as it has been for the past few days. Is there anywhere that's escaped that's been in a nice little pocket of glorious sunshine? <laughs> Absolutely, yes. There have been areas that have escaped the fog altogether, or some areas that have seen the fog burn away very quickly. And you were just mentioning there that, in fact, yesterday was the warmest November day on record, and today could be pretty close to that again. We had 22.4 Celsius in parts of West Wales yesterday, and we could get fairly similar temperatures today. So huge contrast, really, in temperature, 22 two and a half degrees in the sunshine but the unlucky areas it tends to be low-lying areas inland that keep that fog lingering all day so only around about 10 degrees or so where you're unlucky enough to be stuck with the fog all day but some areas are escaping particularly higher ground because it's a fairly low um, inversion so that means that the cold air is trapped uh, really around about 600 foot or so um, near to the ground. Uh, uh, higher than that, above that, it's looking quite <coughs> clear. So there are certainly some hills, for instance, that are poking out from the top of the fog. So a glorious day for some areas uh, on the hills and anywhere really in the shelter of higher ground. So often you get the fog forming towards the south of the higher ground at the moment. That's where the, the air is coming from. And then to the north of the higher ground, beautiful sunshine. Mm. So really mixed fortunes. Get your boots on and go up to the top of a mountain. You get a lovely view. Uh, mm. Give us a sense then of, of how long this is going to last. How's the forecast looking? Well, we're certainly going to see the fog persisting through the rest of today. And for many of us, actually, tomorrow will be a very similar day as well. So fog again forming this coming night, quite extensive, quite dense. Southern counties of England could be a little bit better in terms of visibility. So we've had huge problems, for instance, at London City Airport, Gatwick and Heathrow mm -hmm. too. These areas perhaps not quite as bad as we head over the next 24 hours. So some improvement in the south, still foggy for some of us tomorrow. But by the middle of the week, we're going to swap the fog for wind and rain. Oh, yeah, I thought you were going to say, you know, sunshine and warmth, but thanks for that. Uh, Sarah, thanks very much indeed. Sarah Keith-Lucas. Now, the Russian air...